Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about a Red Hat OpenShift container platform in short form RHOCP 4.11 version high level overview. So before we plan to install a Red Hat OpenShift container platform, as we know, OpenShift is like a enterprise grade Kubernetes platform. If we plan to install the Red Hat OpenShift cluster within our either we can install on on premises that means within our data center level or we can install on a cloud environment that cloud can be either it is a private cloud public cloud or we can use it on a hybrid cloud environments so we have a two options even if you want to run your OpenShift cluster on your local laptop or local desktop, even the OpenShift local also available. But most of the time when we plan to implement OpenShift container platform like enterprise grade Kubernetes platform on either on premises or cloud, the initial step will be we have to prepare for a cluster installer and the cluster will comes with a three master nodes and three worker nodes that is a recommended setup even if you want to deploy one master two worker nodes or two master three worker nodes these numbers may be vary but the usual ideal practice for the uh, cluster setup is three master nodes and three worker nodes and worker nodes we can plan to increase later on when whenever any additional resources are needed or any additional application we are planning to deploy we can increase our worker nodes Okay, so the first step when we plan to implement a Red Hat OpenShift container platform, the first step will be create a OpenShift cluster. But when we plan to create, we should decide on on premises or cloud environment. Okay, in our next session, I will show you how we can install the Red Hat OpenShift container platform on vSphere environment. So here I am just trying to give you the high level overview. And the second step is application developer can develop and deploy the applications that is container applications all these container applications we can run directly on a open shift red hat open shift level and another one is suppose we prepared a one red hat open shift cluster suppose in future if we prepare a additional open shift clusters to manage all the open shift clusters there is another concept called cluster manager it will help to manage open shift cluster okay and fourth step is whatever the applications we deploy develop and deploy those applications we have to serve the applications those applications we can run it on intranet or internet and applications most of the containerized applications are like web applications streaming video online gaming and any other project specific applications okay and even by default when we plan to install any applications in our red hat openshift container platform we can deploy using the openshift operator hub it's almost like a red hat marketplace okay some are the free software some software can be purchased software how we are installing the applications in our mobile using the app store how we are downloading the applications and installing that much as simple as that we can also install the applications on red hat openshift container platform let's quickly log into our lab and i will show you how the red hat openshift container platform console view and in the later session i will explain in detail how we can deploy the openshift container platform okay so suppose if i log into our vcenter server we already installed the red hat openshift container platform 4.11 there are seven dedicated machines are needed one is openshift helper vm and we have a three masters master 0 1 and 2 and three worker nodes are deployed this is the openshift cluster setup suppose for testing purpose if you want to deploy a openshift cluster on a single node also available that is ocp local so that concept also we can deploy that is we can also call it as crc code code ready container platform that is only for completely for testing environment but most of the production environment we recommend to use openshift cluster only it comes with the three master nodes and three worker nodes the in detail concept of master what are all the components are inside and worker what are all the components are inside i will explain separately in the later sessions okay and if once we log into the red hat openshift console 
let's say this is the Red Hat OpenShift console. I log in with a cube admin account. Once we log in, we can see the administrator login page and in the in the home page, we can see administrator and developer. We can see the developer view and we can also see the administrator view. But within the administrator view, as I mentioned, application developer can develop the applications, develop and deploy the application. That means we can deploy the applications in two ways. Either we can deploy using the graphical method or we can deploy using the OpenShift command line method. Suppose if we plan to deploy using the graphical method, log into the Red Hat OpenShift web console and within the administrator page, we can look for your operators and go to the operator hub within the operator hub there are for around 449 items are available these all items are includes a machine learning application application runtime big data database developer tools all these are included suppose if you want to install any applications like suppose casten casten is number one for the kubernetes backup Suppose Casten, we have a free tool. We can also have an enterprise licensed Casten and a pay as you go model, consumption model also available. And one version is showing as deprecated. So based on our customer requirement, whatever the application you want, so let's say you want to install enterprise one. So select the Casten, click on install. Normally when you install the without purchase, that will be like a evaluation edition. And when you purchase based on our subscription, it may be support for one year or three year or lease terms okay so that's how we can install the applications and even if you want to install any database select the database we can see the all the supported databases here okay and the same way if you want to install in the command line the command line option is say within the OpenShift console select copy login command and display the token we can see OpenShift command line access we can use the SSH session and we can log in with this token it will allow you to log into the OpenShift command line access even we can provision and de develop and deploy the applications in the command line as well so in detail steps installation procedure configure manage migrate upgrade all these concepts I will cover one by one okay so this session is only for high level overview hope you understand the red hat openshift container platform high level overview and and the finally the key point is openshift is the platform built for cloud native application development and deployment across the hybrid cloud okay so that's it thank you if you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.